Audacity is a free, open-source audio editing program available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. It's been around for quite a while, and it's pretty popular, so we thought it was time to make a video course to provide budding audio engineers and producers with a quick introduction to working in Audacity. Audacity is a little different from most of the other DAWs out there, free or otherwise. First off, it's not really a full DAW, it's an audio editor, with two major differences from the others. While there is some very limited MIDI functionality, for all intents and purposes, Audacity is an audio-only application. It doesn't provide familiar MIDI capabilities like quantization or even virtual instruments. It is possible to do music production with Audacity, but you'd have to turn to external tools for any needed MIDI functions, rendering any MIDI loops or sequences into audio files, which could then be arranged and edited in Audacity. Music producers expecting the kind of work environment found in free DAWs like GarageBand may find that Audacity is not their cup of tea. However, it's an excellent tool for voice recording and editing, like for video or podcasts. Simpler music productions, like singer-songwriter projects or music sessions that don't require MIDI and audio mastering of finished mixes. The other major difference about Audacity is that it's a destructive editor. Now, most DAWs primarily utilize non-destructive editing, which allows for certain techniques in editing that leave the original recordings unchanged, and real-time audio plug-in processing in a dedicated mixer. In Audacity, all edits are made directly to the audio files, and processing is likewise applied to the audio directly. Pro Tools users will find this a familiar paradigm if they've ever used that DAW's non-real-time audio suite plugins, but anyone weaned on other DAW's will have to adapt to the inherent differences in destructive editing and processing. Either way, this course will hopefully be of some help in familiarizing users with Audacity's methodology and capabilities. I'll start off with an overview of the application and its GUI, and delve into a little more detail on the differences between Audacity's destructive editing and processing and the more familiar non-destructive real-time capabilities of other DAWs. Throughout the course, I'll make occasional brief mention of these different techniques and approaches, so users will have a decent grasp of how their workflow in Audacity might relate to the workflow they may have seen in other audio programs. The course will cover Audacity's various tools and menu options and commands, and the basics of audio handling in the tracks area. We'll go through the initial setup and processing of recording audio and take a detailed look at editing in Audacity, including creating and arranging audio selections, using fades, and automating levels with the envelope tool. For music producers, I'll look at some helpful techniques for creating and working with audio-based musical arrangements without the use of MIDI. The course will cover many of Audacity's effects, both basic processing, like EQ and compression, and some of the more advanced processing tools available, like processes suitable for audio repair and mastering. And we'll go through the basic process of mastering and exporting finished audio files. But before jumping right into Audacity, to put its mode of operation in some context, I'll start out in the next video with a little background on the difference between destructive and non-destructive editing. <laughs> 